it's Lindsay. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and also The Real Real. I post mystery unboxing videos every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you do enjoy that type of content, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell notification and also the like button for me. I do have a Goodwill Blue Box to open today. This is something different that I've never ordered before. It is the curated Y2K box, I believe it was called. And I believe this ran about $80, so not cheap, um, but it was available and I thought I would give it a try just for something new. I believe you get maybe 10 to 12 pieces. Hopefully there's a invoice in here for a little bit of a refresher. And the last time I was on the Goodwill website, I didn't see this box, so I don't know if it's been discontinued. But I know for a while it was hard to get, so when I did see it up the other day, I went ahead and went for it. But I really have no idea what I might have gotten myself into with this box. Um, so yeah, it's a women's curated vintage Y2K apparel box. Um, it does not say the number of items that you get, but I thought on the website it said 10 to 12, and it was $79.99, um, $5 shipping and tax, so a grand total of $90.09, and it did come from Lake Worth, Florida. So it's going to be kind of hard to get this up here to give you a first look, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull everything out. Um, it looks like it is going to be all clothing. I don't know if... There's, you know, possibly any shoes in there or, um, you know, accessories or anything like that. Um, this is a Charter Club two-ply cashmere sweater in an extra large. And I don't know if, with it being curated, if there's a chance of getting, you know, more quality items. That is just a fuzz. I thought it was a spot. So, you know, usually with the cashmere that I get in the designer boxes, um, they always have holes in them. This one looks like it's in good shape. I don't know if this would go for much. Um, just Charters Club Macy, Macy's brand, but I assume that it is vintage since it's in the box. Um, and again, that's what the tag looked like on that one. It is really soft, a nice camel color. It'll be almost time to start looking at sweaters again. Um, this is uh, Diane Gilman, DG2. I have heard of her. Um, this is just a long sleeve top with this lace sleeve. And it's like a melon color almost. That's actually pretty. I don't know if there's a size here. But it looks like it's... I think the size tag has been removed. But I would say that's probably about extra large. So that's not bad. At least it seems to be in good condition. We have a printed top. Um, this is, and let me know if you guys know anything about this brand. I'm actually recording this video on Monday, so I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I actually had my 40th birthday on Friday, and I went to the beach for um, a long weekend and just got back today, and I did not have a video recorded, so... I'm, I usually have it done well in advance, but I'm kind of scrambling to get this recorded for uh, tonight. Um, so I, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, and I won't have time to really research any of these brands. So if you know anything about them, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, this is Veradero Cuban Outfitters, and it's a double XL. And um, it's really soft. It's, um, you know, like a short sleeve Hawaiian type shirt, but it's uh, Cuban themed. That's actually pretty cool. And everything so far seems like it's a good size. And um, I think we have all the buttons on that one. So this might be something good. 
fingers crossed we can at least make our money back on this. That was a bit of a gamble, especially since I don't love selling clothes. Um, this is a rugby shirt in a size extra large. Um, it has this Ireland patch. There's quite a dis bit of discoloration along the collar. Um, so I will have to see if I can get that cleaned. Um, but that may have been set in for quite a while. But otherwise, it's a cool print um, with that Ireland patch, a nice color. And uh, everything else looks okay about it other than that stain. And that is what the tag looks like. It says rugby extra large. And it's 100% acrylic. I think I already said that. Uh, no other information on that one. And next we have another top. This is Gopher Sport in a large. And, oh, it's a t-shirt actually. Um, it is plain on the back, the front. It's um, Big Butt um, by Line and Kugels. And um, the screen print on the t-shirt is actually in good shape. It's not really cracked or anything. And then it does have the Line and Kugel logo on the side. I don't think I've ever seen that beer. I've heard of Line and Kugel, um, so I don't know if that's a beer that's still made. That's a Doppelbach. Um, but that's a pretty cool t-shirt. I think somebody might want to pick that up if they're a craft brew fan. Next, we have a red sweater. Um, this is cashmere as well, 100% cashmere in a large, made in Inner Mongolia, China. And um, this one is very soft as well. And uh, it's got kind of like a mock neck, turtleneck. Um, really nice condition. No holes that I'm seeing. This one, you know, kind of feels like it's almost brand new. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what the market is for some of this vintage clothing. Hopefully it's not, you know, past the um, part where it was trendy. But, uh, you know, some of this looks very interesting. So next we have a pair of pants and these are Talbots and they kind of have um, like a Thailand theme maybe with uh, elephants and um, this little palace here and they are a size 24 um, women petites 24W Talbots. So really fun print on that. That would be super cool to repurpose as well. Uh, they do have a little slit on the side. It looks like that's intentional and should be there. So those seem to be in nice condition. I was just seeing if it said anywhere on the tag um, when these were made. Um, this is actually 90% silk and 10% wool. So very nice. I think this is better than I expected it to be. So please let me know what your thoughts are. I was pretty nervous about opening this one. Um, this is Lucy Ann, Beverly Hills, made in the USA for Saks Fifth Avenue. And just trying to see what this is. I guess it's a dress or is it like a, you know, just a robe? And it's got the fur trim. So it feels like it might be just, um, you know, like a robe that you just pull on. So that's pretty cool. That would be neat for, you know, some kind of Halloween costume or something. 
All right, and uh, about halfway done here. This one looks like it might be a two-piece set. It is kind of a velvet feel jacket. The little bow there. And don't see any branding. So I don't know if this is possibly homemade. There's no branding info in there. It's really soft. It seems like it's in nice condition. And this is a dress that goes under it. And same kind of thing. There's no branding. So just like a midi dress and it has spaghetti straps and a zipper back. So I will have to take some measurements on that. But it's kind of a cool set. I wish it had some information. There might be a couple spots on the back, so I'll have to look into that. So that's probably the worst piece so far just because there's no information on it. Um, this is tailored by Harlan. It's like a brand and it's like a mint green blazer. And there's a couple spots on the sleeve. Has some pretty gold buttons. And a lot more spots over here. So I will have to see if I can get that cleaned up. Um, just some discoloration overall. It could just even be from storage. Um, otherwise, it seems like it's in okay condition. Just a single button blazer. I don't see any other um, tags in it for a size or anything like that, but it definitely looks like a bigger size. So not too bad. Um, and this actually came with a pair of pants too. Um, and of course the size tag is cut out of those as well. And just some more spotting and discoloration. So very interesting. A couple more things. There might be something brand new with the tag down there, so that's cool. Um, this is Liz Claiborne collection in a small, 100% rayon. It's just a little shell that you would wear under a jacket or something like that, cardigan sweater. And that seems like it's okay. No major spotting or anything. This is the item that was brand new. Um, it's Joan Boyce for HSN. And it is a dress and an extra, or no, a jacket, I'm sorry, and an extra large. And it has the, these um, floral sequin design. So just a evening jacket. It's kind of pretty. Um, it's got like a faux leather um, strip there and then kind of a, probably just a polyester material. But that's really neat that it's new with tag. So I will look into that. I assume that it's vintage since it's in the box, but maybe if things just have a vintage look, then they're put in there. So let me know if you know anything about that brand. I know that I have some QVC and HSN watchers that watch my channel, so. Um, next is Simply Silk, and it's this rainbowed um, short sleeve um, kind of kimono. You could use that as a beach cover up or a kimono. Um, that's pretty. It'd be something really fun to wear for, you know, like a pride parade or something like that. That's really fun. And we have one more piece. There's also um, just a, that's just something from Goodwill in there. And this is a Spiegel extra large. 
heard of Spiegel. I think, you know, a long time ago they used to have catalogs that were sent out. Um, just a long sleeve purple jacket with gold buttons. There might be a little bit of discoloration on the buttons, but um, overall it looks like it's in good condition. Little spot on the back. So I think some of the stuff is gonna need some attention in terms of cleaning. Um, but in general, I think it was a lot better than what I expected or feared it would be, especially for the price. Um, I think that, you know, I should be able to at least make my money back with what's here. Maybe there's a standout item that I'll get surprised about, which would be awesome. So let me go ahead and count how many things we got. We have one with the Spiegel, um, jacket. Two with the Joan Boyce, new with tag. Three with the rainbow kimono. We had four with the Liz Claiborne. Little sweater. Five with these suit pants. Six with the matching jacket. Seven with this pink dress. It feels like a um, suede, like velvet material. I lost count, of course. Um, let's see. So that was two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight with the matching jacket. And then we had nine with the red cashmere sweater. That was um, DF brand, possibly. I lost count again. I'm going to give up, but at the end, I'll count them up. <laughs> so I'll just put the number on the screen as how many is in here. Um, and then we had the beer t-shirt. That's what happens when you try to multitask and fold at the same time and get distracted. I'm also a little bit tired since, like I said, I was gone all weekend. Yeah. Um, next is the rugby top, Ireland. That would be really cool for St. Patrick's. If we can get it cleaned up, it's kind of gross the way the collar is. Um, this is probably my favorite piece of the box, this Cuban um, short sleeve top. Um, I had the Diana or Diane Gilman melon colored top with the lacy sleeves, the camel colored cashmere by Charter Club this robe, which was the Saks Fifth Avenue, and then the Talbot's pants. So I will count these up and put the number on the screen or I'll just tell you, but I'll fast forward me counting them. Okay, so we got 16 pieces. So not a horrible cost of goods if most of the items can be listed. Um, let me know what you think about this one. Have you ever ordered it before? Um, if it is still available, would you try it? Um, I think it was very interesting and I enjoy trying something different. So let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate you tuning in and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.